So this is the Brown Buffalo Conceal 21. And then this is the uh, Goruck GR1 26 liter bag. Last week I filmed a video about the Brown Buffalo bag and I got tons and tons of comments and emails and messages and I was actually quite surprised. I didn't expect it to be as popular as it was. And people asked me all kinds of questions about this bag. So I thought, I thought that it would be a good video to compare these bags a little bit more carefully because that was the I mean, that was the question I got most often was to compare these and to, I mean, does this do this and does that do that and does this do this and blah, 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 blah. So here I am to tell you which does what, when, when, how, where, and why. I'm not going to wear the bags because obviously I'm here. I know that sucks for you guys. I'm sorry. I, I am working on a better solution for that um, coming up. I'll show you. My studio is a mess as you can see here. So yeah, well, you know, newborn baby. It's either I do content or I don't do content. So yeah, anyway, let's get into it. I actually hit the camera there, which was, you know, eventful. My life's been um, eventful in general lately. So yeah, I had a birthday last week. Happy birthday to me, thank you. Um, that was weird, I don't know why I said that. As I mentioned in the intro, this is the Brown Buffalo Conceal 21 as in 21 liters. It's a very new bag for the Brown Buffalo. They used to make a 19 liter conceal. I don't know if they're still going to or not. They still have a 26 liter conceal on their website. This is the Goruck GR1 26 liter. These are like kind of legends in this space. Um, although this is a new one, the conceal in general is kind of a legend in this space. And obviously the GR1 is like the legend in this space. So I thought it would be interesting to talk a little bit more about how they compare in detail. It's not meant to be a review of this guy. It's not meant to be a review of this guy. It's just to compare them and to give you my thoughts about generally, you know, what I like about each one and what I don't like about the other and how they compare that way. I'm gonna say this is the Karyology, um Dyneema GR1. It's the only 26 liter I have in my house, so that's why it's here. Uh, I'm not going to talk particularly a lot about the materials because one, this bag, the Brown Buffalo, comes in a variety of different materials. He changes the material all the time. So I don't think talking about the material particularly um, would be useful to anybody. I will just kind of basically say that it's 1050D ballistic nylon, which is the best ballistic nylon there is. It's Cordura branded. It's very nice. In this particular bag's case, it doesn't pick up anything, lint, hair, dust, any of that stuff. It's very strong, feels very sturdy. This is Dyneema, which is, well, crinkle fast, but I love it. I love a little bit of crinkle. Obviously the normal GR1 is just 1000D Cordura, which is a very different feeling than this ballistic nylon. It's more fabric-y. This is more shiny, I suppose. I guess we'll start with the outsides of the bag. As you can see, the size difference, now, people mentioned this in the comments. They said that one of them is much thicker than the other. The reality is, let's uh, fold this down and you can see, the reality is it's not really much thicker. They are actually, the GR1 is slightly thicker here on the bottom and it's slightly more narrow here on the top. It sort of tapers a little bit, whereas this stays basically the same the whole way. Um, I would say in that case, this would feel a little bit bigger. It's also slightly taller. Like, and when I say slightly, I mean like, so they're at equal spots there. So we're talking the brown buffalo bag is maybe whatever that is in American. Um, three pieces of cheese taller. Other than that, okay, so for the front of the bag, uh, you can see that the materials, they are what they are, but if you go around to the back, this is where the big differences kind of start between these bags. So, on this bag, the Brown Buffalo, there is very nice foam padding here with uh, air mesh that is supposed to like wick away your sweat a little bit. Obviously, there's more mesh here. There is a pass-through for your luggage. There is a place to put your sternum strap. There is a sternum strap included. The straps do this zombie apocalypse running away thing. If that is something that you need, there's another little D-ring loop here. I'm not exactly sure what that's meant for, but it is there if you need it. There are also D-rings here if you wanna 
attach something on to it. Now, this is the, I guess this bag would be considered kind of a slick GR1. There's nothing here. Um, the normal GR1 uh, would have Molly webbing the whole way down here, or Pals webbing the whole way down here, where you could attach a sternum strap. It would not come with one. They never come with one. So that would be something you'd have to buy after. Uh, as this bag sits, it obviously doesn't have any. I think you can see here, the straps are much longer on the brown buffalo, if that's something that matters to you. Um, these tend to be a lot harder in use. These are a little bit more spongy. Um, I think that for like a daily carry normal day, this would feel more akin to like the average EDC bag. This would feel a little bit like, Ugh. The back panel on this bag is, well, it's Dyneema on this one, but it would be um, thousand decoder on the regular one and, and you know, whatever it happens to be on the other ones. Uh, it's 500 decoder on the inside here, which is, you know, slick and nice. It's, it's all mesh back here on this guy. So that's the back panel. I mean, you can see there's the laptop compartment here, which it is on this bag here. I will say, so there's some things I like about the laptop compartment better here. There's some things I like better here. I'll start by what I like better here. So on the GoRuck, the laptop compartment comes to about here. I mean, technically it's like here, but then there's like kind of a, because of the way this is sewn in, it, it sort of stops a little bit early here. Now, the thing I don't like about it is you gotta basically flip the, the straps out of the way to get to it. So like, the zipper is here and you have to like, if you're using it like this, you gotta do one of these and flip and dance and all that kind of stuff. I tend to just fight with it or stick my laptop in the other part. This one, the brown buffalo on the other hand, you don't have to fight with anything. You can just, you know, unzip it. Um, if the bag is on its side, I think that's how most people would probably do it. Uh, because he has two zippers here, two zipper pulls, you can pull it from here or here or leave it in the middle, pull two, do whatever you want. This is not technically a laptop compartment. It's meant to be a, um, like a concealed pocket for concealed stuff. I just realized the liner in here is like some kind of brown stuff. I don't know why it's brown. Nothing else is brown on this bag. Uh, it's AquaGuard here, it's not AquaGuard here. So one thing you'd have to watch out for with all GoRuck bags is this zipper, that's the quick access. This zipper pocket back here is like completely open to the elements. So I have had one moment where rain has sort of, sort of gotten in, but not too, too much. Again, not a big deal, but it is something to note. Whereas this one is AquaGuard and it's on the side, so it's a bit harder for rain to get in. That being said, there are two zipper pulls, which means there is a little gap here um, where rain could technically get in. Uh, if I unzip it, uh, this is not raised up off the bottom at all, so your laptop is, well, it's it's gonna clunk against the bottom of the ground when you just put your bag down. I have a sleeve in here, this Tom Bin one. Um, you know, there there's plenty and plenty, plenty of space in here, uh, but it isn't raised up off the bottom, so you will have to put something on the bottom here yourself or use a sleeve of some sort. Now, somebody asked me in the comments, and I'm gonna try to answer it as best I can. They said the laptop compartment feels much smaller here. It's actually not smaller, really, and I will show you what I mean. So, if I open this up, it goes all the way to here, all the way to there. It's the entire, and including this side. So, it's literally this entire section. So, while it's not huge, the zipper path here is not huge. You have to put your laptop in like, yeah, yeah, that kind of thing. Like, uh, I'll do it with a sleeve so you can see. Imagine, imagine this is a 13 inch MacBook, because it's what this is for. You put it in this way, you kind of do a little finagling and you kind of do one of these and it goes in. 15, 15 inch MacBook I think will fit, it's just again, you have to like do all that finagling, which would be probably annoying for some. To me it's a bit of a wash because this one you have to do the finagling with this, so you end up with finagling no matter what you're into. That is the laptop compartment. Obviously, there's nothing back here for luggage pass through. You can do it the old fashioned way, I suppose, with the straps, which is a bit dangly and weird. Uh, I've never actually used it in any case, so it's hard to say which I would prefer. I think this would probably do a little bit better with sweat, but you're gonna sweat with either of these bags. Top handles. The top handles are, I would say, um, slightly nicer on the GoRuck, maybe. It has a little bit of padding. There's no padding on the, the brown buffalo bag, but it's, they are both equally stitched like wonderfully. This is like beautifully stitched here with um, box stitching and bar tacking and all that kind of stuff. 
Uh, similar here, I think that just somehow the way this looks here feels a bit beefier. They both feel nice. This is kind of seat belt material. This is like just your run of the mill. It's Dyneema. Maybe this is Dyneema. It's hard to tell really. It could be. Um, and this is just kind of uh, webbing of some sort. It feels good. One thing I prefer about the GORUCK is this quick access pocket, which is back here, but this is only available on very few GORUCKs, so this wouldn't be the case on all of the GORUCKs. That's why I'm not gonna talk about it too much. Uh, this could easily have one here, I suppose, if uh, Douglas over there was uh, in the mood to add one. I, there's probably a reason why he doesn't, but it is what it is. Ah, while we were up, if you take a quick look here, one thing you will notice is this is not an AquaGuard zipper. This is an AquaGuard zipper. These zippers are, are number 10 YKK zippers. They are Taiwanese made from what I can gather, um, which is okay. I mean, they are smooth enough. I will say there's a rain flap here, so you could protect it against the rain. Because of the Dyneema, it's tight, but on the normal GR1, it is actually pretty fine. Um, yeah, that's kind of something to note. They're okay, I suppose, not too, too bad. These are big, chunky, USA made YKK number 10 AquaGuard zippers. So they are matte finish AquaGuard zippers, so water will not be getting too much in here, or it will help you out uh, a little bit against the rain. Anyway, the normal GR1 has some webbing here. It has like, I think three rows or two rows. This one obviously has nothing. Um, there is one little guy here, one little guy here to attach something like a key lanyard or something like that. So that's kind of it for, you know, the general backsides and all that sort of stuff. Uh, the front pocket is a big divergence between these two. So it is vertical here on the brown buffalo. It is an aqua guard zipper. Um, I will say something quickly about the zippers. I mentioned earlier that they are that they are USA made on this bag and Taiwanese made on this bag. Keep in mind, YKK is not an American brand. It's a Japanese brand. So take it for what it's worth where they're made. It's it's not an American brand, that's all I'm gonna say. They do make some of their zippers in the USA, but it's not an American brand, it's a, it's a Japanese brand, so that is what it is. Um, I've, from what I've seen, the Japanese ones are super smooth, um, the American ones are very smooth, the Taiwanese ones can be smooth, I find they take a little bit more coaxing to break in, but you know, they're all pretty, pretty good. Pretty decent. Um, okay, so what I was gonna say is this pocket here is vertical on the side here. Uh, it is aqua guard and it feels like a number eight, I believe, zipper. It could be a number five, really hard to see. This is definitely a number eight and it's a vertical pocket, or sorry, it's a horizontal pocket on this guy. This pocket is, is a dump pocket and everything falls down to the bottom. So you end up with things like down here. When this bag is full, this pocket is very, very, very difficult to use. It's almost impossible to use, in fact, so you end up like, you know, kind of scratching your hand. Now, it's kind of okay on this particular one because it has this quick access up here, but generally speaking, it's a little bit hard to get into this. This one is also basically just a dump pocket on this bag. Oops, it was already open. It's basically just a dump pocket, but the thing is, it is loop lined loop, loop as in Velcro loop. So I've attached this North Street um, kind of uh, organizer thing here, and then I can basically organize it as I want. I've got my, like, my wallet in there and some other things, and, and there's a zip pocket, and I've got like my headphones in there and all that. There is on the top here a D-ring that hangs down from the top that's built into the bag and my keys are hanging from it. Uh, there is, like this pocket is the whole, like literally the whole section and that loop is basically the whole thing. So that North Street thing is probably around this big and I've attached it there. Um, the fact that you can attach something here obviously is nice. Uh, the Brown Buffalo makes some very nice attachments. They're just very expensive to have shipped to Korea. So I'm using one I already had, which is the North Street one, and it's basically very, it's a similar kind of deal. Nothing you can attach in here. You just kind of kind of throw your stuff in and hope for the best. So that is probably a point to the Brown Buffalo, although it depends on, you know, what you like. Some people just don't like this vertical pocket. I like it because I can sling it and get in. So I can sling it on my side. So basically I can hold it on this strap and I'm looking at it something like this when I look down. It's on the um, side I prefer, unlike the Evergoods bags. 
which are over here. Now I have a 420D version of this bag where there's two pockets, which is very cool, um, but this one does not have that. And the American ones very rarely do, as far as I know, aside from like a couple of weird one-offs. Now there is a patch field up here on this guy, which you can see I have a patch attached to. There is none on this bag. You could add one with magnets or something like that. There is a very nice logo here, which is all blacked out. Let's see, if we can get that. There you go. It's all blacked out. Very nice, very classy. Um, this one you can add patches as you wish, like so. There's no way to really customize this one, so you're with what you got is what you got, basically. These are both clamshell opening bags, so let's uh, get into this guy first. So the GORUCK opens clamshell. Clamshell basically means it opens completely, like this. Inside this bag you have a sleeve here which is supposedly for the rucking things but a lot of people use it for their laptop or tablet. I actually put my laptop in here quite often because I don't like ducking the straps out of the way. You have a little bit of PALS webbing here that you can attach something to although it gets obscured by this pocket. Um, on this side you have a zippered mesh pocket which feels good, it has the high vis lining, it only has that on the, um, the Carryology one. And then here you have an opaque pocket that you can hide stuff in if that's what floats your boat or you can just use it as it was. And that's kind of it for the GORUCK. I mean, it's a simple, simple bag. I will say, well, I'll save that for the next bit. So inside the brown buffalo, also a clamshell opening bag. The zippers are, I, I would say smoother on this guy, but that's probably a little bit due to the Dyneema on this bag, which makes it a little bit, um, I guess, non-malleable. Similarly, on both bags, you have to give it a little push to get it to be perfectly clamped. And I was using this bag today, so you can see my stuff is in it. Um, I can move that out of the way so you can see what's going on. Oh, bye bye Geralt. I like Geralt, but you know. So in here I have a Carryology patch and this. Now this is all loop on the back here, so you can stick anything you'd like. This bag is completely lined, whereas the GORUCK is not. The GORUCK doesn't have uh, barely any lining, just a little bit in certain places, and it is completely lined on this guy. So every little section you see will be lined with something. In this case, it's lined with this blaze orange, anyway, some type of X-Pack and it is really nice. Um, there's nothing else in here. I do wish there was a sleeve of some sort. You can buy one from the Brown Buffalo and stick it in. I just have another North Street here, North Street thing in here, just to keep some pencils or whatever. Unlike the GORUCK bag, the bottom part of the Brown Buffalo is just these two slip pockets. These are a very love it or hate it situation from what I've seen. You can fit like a pouch or something in here. Uh, on some of the bags they velcro, they do not on this one. They do have uh, a decent amount of space. The problem is when you do clamshell it open like this, this stuff will fall out unless it's big enough. Um, but you know, that just kind of depends on how you load it out. There is no padding on the bottom of this bag where there is padding on the bottom of the GORUCK. So if you have stuff like cameras in here, you definitely want it to be in something nice. There is three or so layers of material down here, so it feels slightly padded, but it's not like padding padding. So it doesn't feel thin like you would see in a lot of bags, but it definitely is not padded, like really padded. There is a uh, mesh pocket up here. The mesh is a lot finer on, on this bag. It feels strong, but it feels a little bit like um, thinner. I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's, it's just different. It's a little bit more beefy on the GORUCK, I would say. On this, it's a little bit like nicer, I guess, is the best way to put it. Um, I just have some Corona stuff in there. This is made in the USA. Both of these bags are made in the USA. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna put this stuff back in because, well, I have to go to work tomorrow. Oh, I forgot about Geralt. There you go, Geralt. No. That's pretty much it for these bags. Um, I don't know uh, if you have any other questions, I mean, feel free to let me know. I'm sure there are tons of things I missed, tons of things you'd want to hear or see or talk about. So obviously there are the comments. There is the comment section, oops. There is the comment section below. I am 
yeah, what? Uh, well, anyway, good enough. There is the comment section below, which I think is um, a good place where you could let me know what questions you have. Uh, I will talk quickly about the price. This is $325. It's uh, sold out right now, but he has a new version of it with Cordura nylon. Um, this is also Cordura, sorry, but like a, a 1000D, like softer kind of nylon. It's in Ranger Green, I believe. Um, which is kind of a, a light green color um, but you know they keep coming up every so often they have drops and all that kind of stuff so it is possible to get these bags if you really want one just you know get the color when the color pops up that you want you know grab one this one um, is 500 and something dollars but that's because it's this Dyneema version the normal ones around 325 too so these would be comparable um, if you just take them in their like normal state which one should you get? I don't know, completely up to you. <laughs> They're both beautiful bags. Um, I think if you work in an office, this feels, like to me, this probably feels like one of the, like it just feels like a very classy, cool, can be an office bag, can be um, something a lot more serious bag. It just kind of does everything. This doesn't to me look particularly office, although it would work in an office. I think this looks more like traditionally office. So, um, you know, that's probably something to keep in mind. Otherwise, uh, in terms of size, I, I feel like uh, when I pack these out, they, they take a similar amount of stuff. Um, this might be slightly, slightly bigger, but it's very, very slight. If you're comparing this and thinking the 21 would compare to the GR121, I uh, think again, this is definitely bigger than that. For sure. I would say that in like Gorakian land, this would be like 24 liters or so, if that at all makes sense to you. Anyway, that's it for me today. Uh, it's probably gonna be a couple more days before there's another video. I'm gonna keep trying to pump out the content because I'm enjoying it. Bye bye kids, talk soon, bye bye.